over abdomen, um, an abdomen series. We're gonna do the upright and then we're gonna do the supine. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is angle my tube towards the upright bucky. Make sure that I am on the correct uh, detector, the upright bucky. Make sure that I am in transverse detent and have the yellow light. I'm gonna make sure that I come into a 40 inch SID. And then I'm gonna put my IR in my bucky. So I wanna use a lengthwise 14 by 17 for my patient. So I'm gonna put that in lengthwise. And ensure that I'm counted for 14 by 17 lengthwise. I'm gonna put my left marker in the bottom left hand corner to keep it out of the diaphragm. Then I'm gonna have my patient come in and they're gonna stand with their back up against this board for me. I'm not gonna shield on this because the shielding could, um, go ahead and put your back up against there for me. Um, the shield would obscure the anatomy that we're trying to look at. So what I wanna do is find my patient's iliac crest. I'm gonna feel on your hips. And I wanna go two inches above the level of the iliac crest so that I can include diaphragm. This board's gonna move behind you. I wanna make sure the arms are out away from the body, make sure that I'm centered to the mid-sagittal plane. And then I'm gonna have my patient take in a nice deep breath, blow it all the way out, and hold it out. Good, you can breathe. You can stay like that for just a second. I'm gonna move my machine. So after the upright, I'm gonna do the supine. So I'm gonna angle my tube towards the table. I'm gonna change my detector to table. And I wanna bring it all the way down to the feet so that my patient can easily get on the table without hitting their head. I'm gonna have you come over here and lie down for me. Um, on your back, head on the pillow, feet are gonna go that way. I want to ensure that I have a 14 by 17 lengthwise on there and my right marker is in the lower corner here. Again, to stay out of the anatomy. I want to make sure that my patient is straight on the table. And then the first thing that I'm going to do is line up my tube and bucky. So I can move my table away so that I can see my bucky. And I'm going to ensure that they're lined up. So well, now those are good. I want to make sure I'm at the proper SID, so I'm going to raise that up to 40 inches. The table's going to move a little bit. I'm going to find my patient's iliac crest, and this time we're going to center at the level of the iliac crest. And again, making sure that I'm centered to the mid-sagittal plane. I would have my patient stay just like that. Again, I'm not shielding because it would obscure the anatomy. And I'm gonna have my patient take in a breath, blow it out, and hold it out. And I would expose. 